My name is Fusi Mukwena. I'm originally from South Africa, from a very small town in South Africa called Clarence. Not many people have heard of Clarence because it's such a small village, I would say. Um, I come from a very big family, a family of nine. Uh, I have two brothers, four sisters, my mum and my dad. My parents have passed away many, many years ago now. And we lived in a very small house, a two-bedroom house growing up. Uh, we had to even build a shed outside so that uh, the, the boys can actually uh, sleep in the, in the shed. But we came from a, I came from a very poor background. We, my parents had animals. They had cows, and uh, that's how we were able to survive. So we would milk cows so that we can get some milk and we can feed the family. And we also had some chickens, and that's kind of... Uh, the, the girls will look after the chickens and we'll get some eggs and so we had milk and we had eggs and we also had a, a few veg patches in our garden so that's how we survive with our fruit and vegetables and stuff that we homegrown stuff so that's how we we actually survived and growing up i always had the ambition in my mind and in my heart to really be um, do something great and to get out of my environment and to find myself elsewhere. But I didn't know how because people around me were not, most of them um, didn't really have big ambitions. I didn't do much really, didn't go um, too, too far away from home. I mean, uh, they, I think, um, yeah, so I wanted to kind of, I had this thing in my heart that I wanted to just get rich or die trying just so that I can change my environment and many people around me were not really that ambitious but growing up uh, there are three maybe things I didn't want to do I didn't want to be a, a policeman I didn't want to be a teacher I didn't want to be a pastor and uh, because I'd seen so many around me and um, and I didn't think they were doing really well and um, so I wanted to change my own um, background I wanted to change my situation really but I didn't know how um, so I worked really hard at age 16 I was already looking after myself in many ways so I used to do part-time work so that I can you know help towards um, food at home when I got to age 18 um, I was already completely independent of my parents um, in terms of uh, food and clothes and everything and that was really helpful for my parents because they knew that I could uh, actually look after myself and all of us had to do that and um, because it was such a big family so my parents couldn't look after everyone um, that that was another reason why I was motivated to want to do well I was motivated to really do well so by the time I went to university I was already paying for my studies I had worked really hard I used to do these holiday jobs where I'd work when everyone is just having fun relaxing over holidays I'll be working to try and raise some money so that I can pay for my studies but even then I just wanted to be uh, I wanted to be a lawyer sometimes I'll change I want to be a doctor I want to be a pilot I want to be an astronaut so all kinds of dreams and ambitions that I lived with but looking around there wasn't there wasn't anything really to emulate there were no people around me who had done well in life and um, and I just was really kind of motivated to do so but my environment was always limiting in many many different ways so while I was working in um, in the restaurant and uh, trying to make money for my studies um, I met um, a, a, a man who was a pastor in the local uh, church in, in, in the community and he came to a restaurant where I used to work um, and I learned later that um, he was my mom's pastor my mother's pastor he came to the restaurant and he actually said to me hey, God has given me a dream and, uh, and a word for you at this point I wasn't a believer uh, only my mother was a believer and he said God said you're gonna be a leader in the church one day and I was so gobsmacked because I had never experienced that I'd never known anyone to come to me to talk about God in in, in such a way and so I was really taken aback I was really surprised but um, you know fast forward a year later my mom led me to the Lord so I came into faith to know Jesus Christ and 
I still had the ambitions and the goals to want to be someone, to want to do something great in this life. But I always had my limitations and my background was limiting me in many, many different ways, or at least I thought it was. And, um, and just to cut a long story short, I found myself serving with that very pastor who had come to minister to me and I was serving the local church. I went to a, a place in Lesotho, a very, uh, the capital city of Lesotho, where I lived there for about a year or a year and a half, I can't remember really. And I was living in the garage. Um, here I am with um, dreams and ambitions to be a lawyer, to be a, you know, an astronaut. And I found myself living in a garage, a very small garage. Um, I was, you know, there was a rat in the ceiling and there, it was really, really poor kind of um, living conditions. But I was there because we were planting a church there. So about a year later, God sent me to Lesotho to be part of a church plant. It was there that my heart for the kingdom of God started to grow a lot. But I didn't think I would, you know, go anywhere further than Lesotho, which was a is a neighboring country to South Africa. But something happened that God was able to take me from Clarence from South Africa because I returned to Clarence, South Africa about um, a year and a half later. When I got there, I was there for about two years or so um, and I was an elder in the local church in Clarence and something happened that God took me from Clarence to the United Kingdom. So I spent a few years in the United Kingdom and that's where I grew in my faith a lot and I grew in my leadership gifting and my leadership confidence. And God was able to open up another completely different world to me where I was able to kind of find myself traveling around the world and going into different nations and helping and raising up leaders and spending time in getting involved in church planting, etc. So a whole new world was opening up for me. But I found myself in becoming a pastor increasingly, you know, working for the church. The very thing I thought I was never going to embrace at all in my life. But God was really faithful. He took me from that background and he kind of guided me and took me along the way, just really helping me, motivating me as he was guiding me along the way. I now live in Dubai. I moved from the United Kingdom to be based here in Dubai, which is where I am right now. And I'm leading a church here called City Hill. It's a lovely, vibrant church. And, um, and God has done some amazing things in that he was able to take me from my background, from my past, from where I was, you know, in a small village to this massive, great city of Dubai where I found myself leading a church here. And also really traveling to different parts of the world where I'm currently helping churches and leaders around the world. I have to say God has been so great to me. He took me from my small, humble background and he brought me into this place which I believe he continues to and will continue to use me uh, for his purpose.